Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our first game broadcast of the season. Uh, we have the Lakers taking on the Cavaliers today. Uh, what was I going to do? Um, I completely forget. Oh, okay. So here are the settings. This is what I wanted to cover. Um, 10 minute quarters. We might even uh, bring that down dependent on scores. Hall of Fame difficulty. So everything here is how it will be all the way through the season. And that's automation, position settings. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're good. So anyway, guys, this is... Uh, Game one. As we're going to actually maybe wear some classics going in here, I guess. Yeah. I like that black. That looks nice. But uh, now we're, we're going to wear normals. Um. Cleveland's going to wear normal, so. Here we go, guys. Uh, first game of the year, Lakers-Cavaliers. The East versus the West. Two teams that are predicted to be fantastic teams. And it is that Pacific Division that is probably up for grabs versus the Central Division where I have goddamn no clue who's going to win and a Apologize for my language there. I uh, wasn't thinking, but it doesn't matter. Uh, nobody knows who's going to win that central division that the Cavaliers are in. So let's go ahead and start it. I'm going to hand it over to Ernie and everybody. And thanks. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thank you so much for joining us. You do. You look, you look great. Yes, I mean, I lost two pounds over the whole summer. Six feet, seven 
finally safe. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happy. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from DA along the sideline all game long. The crowd here in anticipation of their home team Cavaliers in an interconference battle here at the Quicken Loans Arena. And of course, this is the first they're seeing of the Lakers. They controlled everything in both games last year going 2-0. Yeah, an interconference matchup, and these are two teams at different ends of the spectrum as far as the talent is concerned. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So the Lakers five right now. They've got Noah. Worthy out there with Weber. Then it's Magic Johnson. And it's Harden in at the two spot. Just two to shoot. 13 feet away. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off his shot. 24 second violation. Well, Steve, we have a great matchup in the middle right here tonight. How fun is it going to see these two great centers go head to head? That's old school when these two guys <laughs> go at it banging. And you start talking about centers. You know, a lot of people look at points, but then you got to start looking at rebounding and who threw the first elbow. And, and, you know, who's the enforcer and just set the tone for his team? And the constant fighting for yes. position underneath. The, 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 the stuff you don't see off the yeah. ball, they go at it. Gets bad in there, doesn't it? Yes. You didn't go in there much, did no, you? I just looked and yeah. kind of marveled at it. <laughs> it's going to marvel it. <laughs> Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Been at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. That free throw, no good. And the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the first title in franchise history, upsetting the favorites, the Golden State Warriors. First time ever a team returned from a 3-1 deficit in the finals to win. He hits the second from the line. And GA, the Cavs are now the hunted team. Do you like chances of repeating as champions? I think they've got as good a chance as anyone. And probably better because they really have owned the East. If they can stay healthy, no reason to think they can't do Another shot. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. Yeah, easy call. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw good from Pippen. And both free throws, good for Pippen. Coach Terod Lou played 11 years in the NBA, played for numerous teams, played for some unbelievable coaches. Phil Jackson, the name one, played with some greats. Michael Jordan, Kobe, Shaq, Dirk, Nowitzki, and the list goes on and on. He's seen it all. Now here's Johnson. Harden inside the three-point line. Rebounded by Hardaway. Not a good pick there. If I'm shooting the ball and I'm looking at him, I'm asking where is the effort? You've got to do a better job of screaming. The feed now to Goodrich. Noah against Chamberlain. The baseline, Jay, off the mark. And Lou, coach center Doc Rivers in Boston and in Los Angeles, and back in 2014 became the highest paid assistant coach in NBA history. He was the runner-up at the time for the head coaching position. Instead, he became the associate head coach in charge of the team's defense. When the team decided to make a change, the line of secession was clear. Here's Hardaway. James Harden picking up that last basket. Here's the screen. Hardaway kicks to Griffin. Three. Worked down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. Yeah, let's check out some numbers here for James Harden. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season, checking in at 29 points per game. Seven assists and six rebounds. And with his ability to put the ball in the bucket, he has to be your primary focus defensively. Now, here is Weber. No other screen. Weber, the pass to Harden. Good, and Weber gets the assist. Harden's got his second bucket of the night. 
you know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. You know, that job of getting through screen is not pretty, but somebody has to do it. Good, Rich. That's good. He's always one step ahead of the game. Passes like that show off his court vision. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Outside Worthy. Back to Johnson. No other screen. Takes the three. The Lakers rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Noah's done a nice job on the offensive glass, wreaking havoc for the defense. Hardaway kicks to Griffin. Chamberlain with a screen on Hart. Griffin for three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. Now we'll go to David Ol. Had a chance to talk with head coach Luke Wolf, DA. That's right, Kevin. He said they can't be loose with the ball tonight against this team with great hands and defensive awareness. If they do, the turnovers and fast break points will pile up quickly. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, Dave, thanks. And guys, do you agree with Coach's game plan here, given how tough the D is that they're going to go up against? I really do. I think they're such a hard team to generate offense against that that has to be where they devote most of their attention. Their attention has to be spacing. Right now on the offensive end, they're too jammed up to be able to score the basketball. Clear it out a little bit. Give some offensive room. Akers on D. After the three-pointer from Scotty Pippen, here's Hardaway and stolen by Worthy. Harden has a wide open look, drills it from outside. Harden's got his third bucket of the night. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, back and forth. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. To the middle, it's deflected and stolen by Goodrich. Hardaway dishes to Pippen. Shot clock at six. Here's Goodrich. Here's Chamberlain. And that one is off. And the Lakers take it the other way. Johnson, the pass to Weber. Outside Worthy. Johnson, the screen. He's got room again, Los Angeles. And this team is here largely because of his accuracy Sorry. from the floor tonight. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Los Angeles making a switch here. Wallace has checked in. Well, let's take a look at last year's top scorers. James Harden is second. And, and looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. The Cavaliers trail by three. Outside Hardaway. He kicks to Griffin. He dishes it to Goodrich. Pick by Griffin. Goodrich, that's good. Goodrich has got six for Los Angeles. They've gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Worthy kicks to Wallace. On the wing, Johnson shoots from the baseline. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. He is very frustrating to guard because he makes plays that will drive you crazy. Goodrich with it. Six points for him. Outside Pippen. Back to Griffin. And 
blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance from outside the arc. Harden can't hit. Not good shot selection. Long range and a defender all up in your jersey. If you're the defender, you're like, yes, take that shot. I'll play the percentages. That would have been a good time to just keep it simple. No need to rush that pass. Aaron Gordon is checking in for Cleveland. Goodrich comes in for Goodrich. And then for the Lakers. Adams, he's checked in for Noah. Maxwell comes in for Worthy. And it's Russell in for Magic Johnson. Now here's Harden. Nine points in the game so far. A different look now for Cleveland. Bradley comes in for Pippen. And it's Johnson in for Hardaway. The Lakers also with a sub. Williams, he's checked in for James Harden. defense Cleveland they trail by three Chamberlain against Adams shot clock at five the Lakers need to get a shot off here here's Maxwell I'm shot is good that time and they're passing the ball very crisply here Goodrich kicks to Bradley to the inside here's Chamberlain it's hauled in by Adams. Blown opportunity right there. Point blank lay in. Come on now. Russell dishes to Wallace. Down low. Chamberlain, the pass to Goodrich. Misses off the right eye. And not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you? No, not at all. When you see him guard you, just try to move the basketball on. Now here's Wallace. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Kicks to Adams. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. Well, Steve, offensively, you never want to be too predictable. And it makes me wonder, and interpret this however you want to, who do you think is the most unpredictable player in the league? Well, I think uh, one come to mind is Stephen Curry. You really... Don't know when he's going to pull up. You don't know what he's going to do as far as his dribbling exhibition. Kyrie Irving, those guys. Chris Paul with his passes. You know, a guy like DeMarcus Cousins, because of his ability to play inside and outside, he's not predictable because he can basically do it all on the floor. I would think for a defender that'd be frightening, just being constantly guessing. Some guys you can just take it to the bank, they're going to do whatever they're, they're going to shoot or they're going to drive. And you know one guy I forgot, Kevin? Russell Westbrook. Yeah, how do you scout him because he comes... Wallace, the pass to Williams. Throws up again. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Really on the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. The Lakers have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. good on that one. And he's good on the second. Here's Goodrich. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. The pass to Gordon. A 
three-pointer is right on target. Oh, a good open look, and he sprays it home from three. And stolen by Goodrich. Now Cleveland moving it up. Here's Chamberlain. The shot goes down to get this game back to even. When he's that close inside and the defender has given up that much height, it's over. And here's Russell to the left wing. 51 seconds left here in the first quarter. And the basket by Maxwell. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Now here's Johnson. Chamberlain a screen. Lock at six. Pass to Goodrich. Goes up on the wing. And that's good for two. Goodrich has got the game tied up here for the Cavs. Los Angeles is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Williams, and finished off by Williams. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know he's not going to mess that one up. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Here's Johnson. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Lakers lead by two. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Griffin grew up playing the game alongside his older brother. His dad was his coach, and he credits his brother for inspiring him to work at his craft. You know, watching him kind of go through the process of he started to get, you know, recruited by college coaches, and then he, um, you know, really took his game and, and became serious about it. And I watched his work ethic, and I watched how he, you know, put the time in, the things he did, and that's kind of where I developed my no talking about uh, taking the right course. We know that uh, the older brother of Blake Griffin, three years older, you know, he played, as did Blake, for their dad, Tommy, in high school, and they were terrific high school players and four-time state champions. I mean, it, it always helps to have a big brother who, who's kind of been there and, and done that to, and can share those experiences with you. It doesn't hurt to have a dad also who was a pro player either and also a college coach. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? They come out the gates here strong and put together just a solid first quarter. And that's exactly how you want to start this one off. They open this one up with a real bang. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, Johnson is out there with Christie. Then it's Worthy. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Weber in at the power forward position. That's good from Blake Griffin. Well, Griffin, Steve, might be the most well-known of players in the NBA just because of how marketable he is. You see him a ton in commercials, and he really is one of the biggest faces in the league. Well, he's one of those guys. You see him in a lot of guest spot appearances on comedy shows, and he's fit right in. A playful guy. And also, when you can have the jumping ability that Blake Griffin has, a lot of people want to market you. Griffin hits a goal. He's incredibly difficult to guard, Blake Griffin. He's 6'10", 250-something pounds. He has size, but he also has quickness like a guard. Now, here's Worthy. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Inside. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Now, we know the NBA has always valued scores. Guys who can put the ball in the basket and get paid to do it and do it well and do it a lot, do you think? Steve, the great defenders are still undervalued in this NBA? Yeah, I think so. I think people don't understand from my day to now, because of the new rules, no hand checking, no touching, 
you have guys now that's a premium to be able to guard some of these guys. The way they're scoring the basketball, you need more guys that can defend at an elite level than I think you did in the past. Harder to play good defense or good offense? I think harder to play good defense, defense. right now because you can't touch. Uh, right. Guy coming at you, full speed, just a sleight of hand touch, it's a foul. Now. So more effort, more hustle required on that yes. end. More team defensive minded right now, I think, as well. Cavaliers trailing. Pippen kicks to Griffin. They set the pick on the way up top. Back to Griffin. Gordon a screen. And count the basket. He was fouled. Shots and he's good. going to the line for one more. Shots we good. know how strong Fit. Griffin is, but he has the ability also to adjust his body in midair to draw the contact. Joaquin Noah, he's checked in for Adams. The Cavaliers have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And the free throw, no good. Blake Griffin, a terrific player. But the first thing you think about with Blake Griffin is flying high and dunking the basketball. A highlight reel. Now here's Worth. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Noah. And where have the shots been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for the Lakers. And they've really shot away from the mid-range. That's a new school style. And looking for shots beyond the arc and at the rim, those tend to be far more efficient. Cavaliers leading. Outside Griffin. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Now, Steve, as you said, there are other great dunkers in the league, but for in-game dunks, Blake Griffin is just one of the best. He's on that short list of feared players. Yes, he has the body and size to take the bump, and you know he can go over people, but a lot of times he likes to go through you. He sheds off contact and still gets several feet above the rim. It's not often you see that kind of middle lap. He just lost track of where it was. And Cleveland making a change here. Goodrich has checked in. Well, Cleveland shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Gordon a screen. Pippen is just a Goodrich. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Goodrich has got nine. And really, how about the quick release on that triple there? Because he's given up a lot of height in that matchup. He has to have a quick trigger when he's facing a size mismatch, as big as the one he had right there. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, we've seen James Harden become one of the most accomplished in the league at drawing fouls and getting to the free throw line. And he makes no apologies for his style. He said free throws are a part of basketball. Not necessarily going in there and trying to draw a foul, but if a person can't guard you, he has to foul you. Or I'm going to score every single time. Kevin? Maybe the toughest cover in the league, DA. Thank you. When you put a smaller player on Blake, he has the ability to drive it, draw contact, and get to the free throw line. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And he sinks the second. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Johnson outside. To the inside. Noah. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Gail Goodrich picks one up. And 
kind of hit of the end of an air when Joaquin Noah left Chicago. Many figured he'd be a bull for life, but with the reduced role and issues with others in the organization, Steve, it seemed like the writing was on the wall. Yeah, for Joaquin Noah, one of those guys you just said, hey, he's always going to be there. But I think the injuries and them being able to play at a high level without Joaquin Noah, he'll definitely be missed. But it was just time for Joaquin Noah, Noah to move on. The first one falls. Guys, you know what I like about Noah? His entire career, it's been about defense. Defense, defense, defense. James Harden, he's checked in for Los Angeles. <laughs> Noah hits them both. Steve, I still remember when you went to Atlanta and that trade from Miami, pretty much everyone agreed it was a heist, it was a steal for the Hawks. Do you think we see less lopsided trades these days? Yeah, we do, Kevin. Reason why, because of the salary cap. You're trying to match money and money together. And I think right now, Kevin, you're starting to see, because of the contract situations, you want value for value. So they're not as lopsided as they used to be. Now, here's Pippen. Five points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And another miss by Cleveland. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. The Cavaliers have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Outside Hardaway. Here's Goodrich. Not enough on that one as it misses. He's using money for mid-range, but the defender got up in his shirt, took him out of rhythm. Hardaway against Johnson. Knocks it loose and stolen by Goodrich. Hardaway against Johnson. A clear look for Hardaway. With nobody on him, he carries the jumper. Hardaway has got his first bucket in this one. Lakers trail by three. Johnson outside. The dish to Harden. Noah with a screen on Goodrich. Six to shoot from 18 feet away. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First trip to the line for him here. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Goodrich. When he's at the strike, you know he is going to bring his best. Here is Harden. He's got nine. Feeds it to Johnson. Back to Harden. And stolen by Goodrich. Unhindered, going all the way. And Pippen slams it in. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Now, here is Weber. Harden outside. To the inside. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And let's briefly take a look at the stats for Griffin. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 21 points per game. Eight rebounds and five assists. And he led the charge when it came to scoring. Led the team. Chamberlain's checked in for Gordon. The Lakers also changing it up. Wallace has checked in for Weber. Maxwell comes in for Christie. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Magic Johnson. 
It's hard to disagree with the timeout here as the team badly needs to regain focus. They're out of sync offensively, way too many turnovers, and looking frustrated. They need to get back to their pace, their brand of basketball. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. Fourth, James Harden. Very few guys passed the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. Here's Russell. It doesn't go for him. And Cleveland will come the other way. Pippen kicks to Chamberlain. Goodrich passes to Griffin. Chamberlain, it's good on the putback. And the Cavaliers lead by nine. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Noah kicks to Wallace. Passes it to Harden. Just five to shoot. They need this. And the jam by Harden. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Goodrich. He's got 11. Back to Pippen. He feeds it to Chamberlain. And stolen by Wallace. But it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the Good shot. Job, And Steve, when you played, what's different about early season basketball games versus games later on in the season? You know, I think earlier you're trying to find your way. You're trying to get into the rhythm. You don't want to peak too fast. Take and then break. at the end Take of the break. year, you start Peace to up. have it all come together. You want to steamroll right into the playoffs. I would think for a player and for a team, peaking at the right time is the most difficult thing to accomplish. Yeah, sometimes you get off to a great start. You say, can we hold this? Yeah. But if you're the Warriors... They held serve throughout the entire 73 season. 73 times. Yes. You're right, yeah, for an NBA record. Bradley's checked in for Cleveland. Johnson comes in for Hardaway. The Lakers also making some changes. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Noah. And it's Williams in for James Harden. Lakers trail by nine. Here's Maxwell. At the top of the key, Wallace. Chamberlain against Adams. Smitty, you've hit a lot of clutch shots in your career. What is it that allows certain players to remain cool and collected when their shot can decide the outcome of a game? You know, a lot of guys talk about it. You can't let the game speed you up. And you can see some young guys and some veterans, they catch the basketball in their mind. They're starting to go faster. Really, on clutch shot, you really have to make the game slow down. So Adams nails both of them. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Goodrich kicks to Griffin. It's a hand on it. Great positioning on the putback. Chamberlain got ten points. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or six in the field in the second quarter so far. Johnson dishes to Goodrich. The floater, and Adams sends it back. You know, even though he's been off the mark this quarter, he's trying not to let it shake his confidence. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity from downtown. Goodrich, that's good. He's got 14. So tough to hit a three like that with the break on. Now Russell, he hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Pass to Maxwell. The 15-footer, 
That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Goodrich. Johnson, the pass to Goodrich. Back to Johnson. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Johnson's got his first points in this one. Outstanding job looking for his teammate and connecting with him with a flawless pass. To the paint, and they get it. And there's the nice layup by Adams. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Goodrich. He's got 14. Johnson outside. Chamberlain a screen. Four on the shot clock. Off the screen. And Chamberlain with the stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? Wallace the screen. The pass to Maxwell. Down low. Here's Williams. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. That's just terrific ball movement to get his teammate a wide open shot. Cleveland leading by 12. Chamberlain a screen. Oh, Griffin in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. I mean, on those alley-oop plays from Blake Griffin, you can't give him room to take off. Here's Russell. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Screen by Adams. Williams against Bradley. Count it good. 51 seconds left in the first half of the game. Johnson kicks to Griffin. Cleveland moving the ball around. Bradley dishes to Chamberlain. From 12 feet out. And the Cavaliers gets another bucket right there. And the way he's been shooting the ball this quarter, he has his teammates fired up. That's why they have this lead. Russell kicks to Adams. Screen by Russell. Griffin against Maxwell. Back to Wallace. And the layup falls. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Goodrich with it. He's got 14. Johnson the screen, and the wide open shot from Griffin, and misses it off the right side of the rim. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And so we wrap up the first half. Cleveland ahead, they lead by 12. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Joined by Coach Teron Liu. Coach, how do you think the team performed defensively in that first half? Well, they got to a good start, but then I thought we settled in and started playing a little bit more defense. Got locked in as the game went on. Thanks, Teron. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we're halfway through this one. The new NBA season getting underway. I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. Got Shaquille O'Neal. Always great to be around you, knuckleheads. Thank, thank you, me. brother. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period, with three points being their largest cushion. The second quarter was all theirs. Major uptick in offensive and defensive intensity as they did their jobs with precision, now sitting on a comfortable 12-point lead at the half. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? What stood out to me more than anything else was how hard they got after it on the offensive glass. They were keeping possessions alive and converting those rebounds into points. Take away those extra points, they're not in this position, Ernie. And over to Kenny, your takeaway on the Lakers. I think they're giving this game away because of their turnovers. I mean, you may not control everything that happens out there, but you do control how much you value each possession. I think coming out of the break, they need to be more efficient to close the gap in the score. And time now to send you back down to the floor with Kevin Harlan. We will see you after the game. Welcome back to Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. My wife and I toured that recently. It is worth the price of admission. 
Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Neil Goodrich really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yeah, and he just went off in those first two quarters, guys. He's capable of doing that on a consistent basis as well. So we might see some changes from a defensive standpoint as they try to disrupt his rhythm in the second half. Yeah, the change has to be double teaming him. Single coverage will not get it done. Lakers trail by 12. Griffin is out there with Chamberlain. Then it's Goodrich. Then it's Pippen. And it's Hardaway in at the one. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Weber, the pass to Harden. That one good for two. Harden's got the first bucket of the third here for Los Angeles. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. On a defensive end, you have to fight through screen. That is a commitment. Now here's Griffin to the paint. Here's Chamberlain. Noah with the block. Nice job by Noah. Elevate for It's Harden with the assist that time. It's easy to tell that he is most comfortable pulling up from that area on the floor. You know, the thing about James Harden, though, there's really no perfect way to defend him. I mean, he can torch you from deep, drives the lane as well as anybody, and especially when he's looking to create contact. And, and in many ways, your best defense against him is a good offense. You try to match some of his points by scoring on the other end well documented that maybe defense not his strength but you know that's an area where if you want to have success you're going to have to do a good job on that end and thinking about ways to stop Harden part of the problem is that he's really built like no other player out there <laughs> physically he's got that barrel of a body the long arms and just enough quickness to blow by you he's elusive yet always looking for contact which is why he lives at the free throw line. Chamberlain hits them both. And here is Los Angeles now. Johnson outside. Dishes it to Harden. Here's Noah. And again, it's the Lakers. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Pippen kicks to Griffin. Hardaway up top. Let's the three fly. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And that makes it 0 for 3 coming out of the half. Not what they wanted or were expecting. Hardaway with the steal. Two minutes into the second half of play now. The feed to Chamberlain. It's tipped. Stolen by Weber. Upside worthy. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Weber. And here is Goodrich. He's got 14. Puts up a three. Rebound the Lakers. Johnson's got three rebounds so far in the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Gordon's checked in for Griffin. And it's Goodrich in for Goodrich. And stolen by Chamberlain. It's three on three on the fast break. 
they're going to help the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes. He thrives in the open court. Such an aggressive finisher. Lakers trail by nine. Johnson, the pass to Harden. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. It's hauled in by Gordon. Goodrich dishes to Pippen. Cleveland moving the ball around. Outside Gordon. Chamberlain a screen to the middle, stolen by Noah. Harden against Goodrich. Harden outside. Six on the shot clock. Johnson in the corner. From the wing. And again, the Lakers no good. The Cavaliers leading by nine. Here's Goodrich. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got three assists tonight. His eyes just lit up as soon as he realized he was wide open from outside. Timeout, timeout. The defense had to do a much better job. And the Lakers Guard. call time here. in for Cleveland. Christie, he's checked in for the Lakers. Inside, from seven, Chamberlain with the block. But they recover it. Harden kicks to Weber, tries to save it. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Bradley is screen on Christie. To the middle, off the pick. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. This was a case of one man getting hot, and then it gets contagious and spreads throughout the entire team. Now here's Goodrich. He's got eight. There's the screen. He kicks to Hardaway. Five on the clock. Here's Pippen. And Cleveland again with the bucket. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. It wouldn't be the first time. He's a closer, a player who loves to slam the door shut. Here's Christie. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Johnson outside, trying his luck deep, Chamberlain with the rebound, Chamberlain got rebound number nine now, what an effort here tonight, 
inside. Pippen, it's deflected. Here's Worthy. He dishes it to Harden. Johnson outside. Shoots off the screen. Harden's shot is off. Cleveland with the ball. Big stretch here going 10-2. Here's Goodrich. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Goodrich has got eight points in the quarter. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Johnson. Harden outside. Kicks it to Weber. Soft touch off the glass. Weber's got nine. Well, they're still behind in this game, but not because of his shooting. He's been lights out. And for all the scoring, Greg, that James Harden gives you, he's also one of the top playmakers in the NBA. You know, and even coming out of college, Kevin, a lot of scouts felt Harden could play the point. I mean, that's one of the reasons why this guy is going to consistently be in the MVP conversation. Now, here is Weber, and that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Johnson, he's checked in for Hardaway. And then for the Lakers, Adams, he's checked in for Weber. Wallace comes in for James Hart. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Johnson. Nice game. Great performance by Wilt Chamberlain. This is just one of those nights where he decided to take control of this game. He's been scoring at will no matter who he's matched up against. They need to figure out how to force him into tougher, lower percentage attempts. And the Lakers making a change here. Maxwell's checked in. And now a chance to take a look at the shot chart. And really what jumps out to me about this shot chart is just how aggressive he's been when on the floor. I mean, he's doing everything he can to get as close to the hoop as possible before putting up that shot and it's worked out in a big way for him and his team three from the inbound sinks the three-pointer maxwell's got his third basket of the night not the best pick i've ever seen but it was just enough to get the job done johnson kicks to pippen pass to goodrich to the paint and it's chamberlain that time on the assist from goodrich Chamberlain got six points in the quarter. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. It hasn't been pretty. They just haven't looked interested in putting forth the kind of effort it's going to take to stay in this game. And the basket by Maxwell. When you have a reliable floater like that, it can be absolutely lethal. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Goodrich kicks to Johnson. There's the dish to Pippen. Six on the shot clock to the paint. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Is it any surprise that he's been hitting everything out there? You want the ball in his hands as much as possible. Cavaliers making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Williams has checked in. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Wallace with a screen for Russell. Passes it to Maxwell. Let's it go from deep. Griffin with some nice D. Cleveland's gotten a lot of looks from outside the night. Five of 12. And it's sent back by Wallace. They recover it. That free throw good from Chamberlain. And he can't hit the second. Lakers, 15. He hasn't put up any points in this one. 
a put back. Here's Adams. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Lakers have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Two shots. Two shots. Throw good, Adams. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Cleveland leading by 14. Goodrich with it. He's picked up by Russell. It's good. He knows his teammate loves to shoot from that spot on the floor and get him the ball exactly there. 119 left in the third quarter. Tipped away. Wallace a screen. Maxwell kicks to Wallace. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. And you can tell that pass just hung in the air for a long time. That was a risky pass. Poor decision, really. Fortunately, they didn't lose the possession. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Goodrich is checked in. And here's Maxwell for three. The offensive rebound. Chamberlain with the block. Goodrich kicks to Chamberlain. Ooh. Cleveland moving the ball around. Griffin. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Griffin's got nine. That mid-range jump shot is getting better and better for Blake. Russell passes to Maxwell. The drive by Russell. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. Goodrich kicks to Goodrich. Another three for Cleveland. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. Russell with it. Down low. Here's Adams. And, yep, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary content. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant arm. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. For Los Angeles, they have made nine free throws in the game. 14 attempts. He hits the second from the line. James Worthy's checked in for Reggie Williams. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. And here's Russell. Back to Worthy. One second left. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Cavaliers lead by 18. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. Way here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. The Cavaliers leading by 18. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Worthy out there with Wallace. Then there's Noah. 
Then it's Harden, and it's Johnson in at the one spot. Ah, Griffin had a chance to score that one, but he saw a teammate wide open, so he kicked it to him for a nice one. Johnson outside. Shoots from the high post. A rebound by Johnson. Cleveland's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. Goodrich. A shot that time, not on target. Lakers trail by 20. Worthy dishes to Johnson. Outside Worthy. To the inside. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, it's one of the most fascinating developments in professional sports over the last decade. Steve, how do you think social media has impacted how NBA players carry themselves. You know, a lot of ways, Kevin. It, it has gotten a lot of players in trouble. I think also it's taken away a lot of freedom. Everywhere you go, there's cameras there. But I think also in some ways, it's built a lot of these guys' brands because they have millions and millions of followers. And sometimes that can change into dollars. Do you know what I envision after a game, guys leaving the floor, going to the locker room, and the first thing they do is pick up their phone and look at social media to see what fans are saying about the game and more specifically about the way they were individually playing. Hey, Kevin, you're totally right. And I think sometimes you gotta just disconnect from what people are saying about you, whatever is good or bad. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Cavaliers with possession here. That'll be the latter half of this two game homestand. Goodrich kicks to Chamberlain, feeds it to Hardaway. Here's Goodrich. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Hardaway has got three assists now in this one. No hesitation. When he saw the space the D was giving him, that's two. Now here's Johnson. Out to Wallace. But Trey trains the three-pointer. He is nearly impossible to guard from the three-point line when he gets a good look at a little space. Cleveland leading by 17. Picked by Griffin. Hardaway passes to Griffin. Griffin, a screen on Wallace. Goodrich kicks to Hardaway. And stolen by Worthy. Wallace dishes to Worthy. Here's Johnson. Lays it up and banks it in. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Chamberlain with a screen on Johnson. Hardaway passes to Griffin. And it's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Scotty Pippen's checked in for the Cavaliers. And the Lakers also making a change. Weber, he's checked in for Wallace. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Shot clock at three. Here's Griffin. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. And the Cavaliers lead by 17. Uh, Blake is okay with the catch-and-shoot jump shot. Looking comfortable. Timeout called the Lakers. Nice game. Great performance by Wilt Chamberlain. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. They set the pick. Johnson outside. To the paint. Here's Weber. The shot. No good. Great D that time from Griffin. 
to the middle and stolen by Worthy. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. And then Johnson with the dunk. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. When your defense translates into offense, it's a beautiful thing. Goodrich kicks to Hardaway. Just five on the clock. He feeds it to Pippen. The turnaround, Jay. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And the, not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you? No, not at all. When you see him guard you, just try to move the basketball on. Yep, that one goes in there. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking advantage. Pass to Hardaway. This is to Griffin. Back to Hardaway, and then Hardaway with the dunk. And folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. The fans really get their money's worth when they get to see him make plays like that. The Lakers with the ball, following the score by Cleveland. And that's rough. He did have three in the first half, but hasn't had one since. Chamberlain a screen, shot off the pick, and the jumper is on the mark. Goodrich has got 13 points in the second half. I don't know what coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Harden dishes to Weber. Griffin picks him up defensively. Bumped on the way up, but hits it, and they call the blocking foul. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Now here's Pippen. Picked by Griffin. Pippen, the pass to Griffin. Hardaway for three. Chamberlain kicks to Hardaway. They get it back. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The first free throw is good. Tough. He's just so hard to keep off the foul line when he pushes the action. I love his activity here in the second half. Chamberlain hits them both. Lakers trail by 17. Johnson kicks to Harden. Johnson outside. Noah, the screen, and shot on the way. Tries again. The putback, it's good on the putback. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And stolen by Worthy. Three on three. Sweet little floater. Worthy's got four points in the quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Goodrich kicks to Griffin. Releases from 15, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. Johnson outside. No other screen. Harden against Goodrich. Noah dishes to Weber. Back to Noah. The pass to Weber. Good and a nice assist from Noah. And that's now 11 points for Big Cat. I love the adjustments he's made here in the second half, getting the looks he wants now and shooting a much higher percentage. Hardaway kicks to Goodrich. 
Worthy pulls it in. Worthy's got six rebounds now in the game. Inside and finished off by Worthy. Yes, and hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. And Chamberlain gets it to go. That's exactly where they want the ball to go. He did a great job getting the ball into that position. Johnson outside. And there's the feed to Worthy. The three from Harden. Another miss by Harden. A three-point marksman. He couldn't have asked for a better look. Sometimes it just doesn't go down. Kicks to Chamberlain. Puts it up from 12. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Chamberlain got 16 points here in the second half. Los Angeles calls timeout. Sorry. He's checked in for Goodrich. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, I listened in on what Luke Walton said to his team. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin. Thank you, David. Stolen by Noah. Now here's Harden. Inside, the kick out to Worthy. Weber, the pass to Johnson. Great D that time from Hardaway. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Outside, Griffin. Outside, Hardaway. Six to shoot. There's the triple. Goodrich, that's good. Goodrich has got five points now this quarter. Really just continuing to increase the lead. This one should be easy for the rest of the way. I can't see this one slipping away from them at this stage. They've just been too good today. Harden, no good. Oh, wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Hardaway kicks to Goodrich. Chamberlain a screen. 29 left in the fourth quarter. And it's Goodrich missing. Made that shot a little harder than it had to be. No one around him. Just rise straight up and drill it. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident looking performance for the Cavaliers. This is a game where the defense, you know, steals specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort a big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Griffin. Bradley comes in for Pippen, and it's Johnson in for Hardaway. Steve is a player who spent so many years in the league. Were career milestones such as uh, 10,000 points or 500 games played a big deal to a player at all those individual milestone numbers? No, not those type of numbers, Kevin. I think um, more importantly, the, the number of years you play, and I think for a lot of guys, how many wins you have, I think those are the numbers. All-star really appearances? Sometimes all-star, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can certainly championships. Championships for sure. Yeah. And you've got you've got, got one, one. And you've and got one one. One, one, yeah. one. <laughs> and the Lakers making a change here. Anderson's checked in.
Good on the second free throw. 102 left to play in the final quarter. Up top, Russell. He's covered by Goodrich. Maxwell kicks to Russell. Anderson outside. Just four to shoot. And here's Maxwell from beyond the arc. Will Chamberlain with the rebound. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Now here's Johnson. Off the pick. And he nails the jumper. The fans are just loving what's going on here tonight. A really good win for the home team. You like to have these type of wins every now and then. Just a comfortable win. Russell against Goodrich. Pass to Maxwell. Shoots from 12. The rebound by Wilt Chamberlain. Here's Goodrich. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. And Ernie Johnson is still in the building, folks, for the post-game show. Coming up next. The 2K Sports post-game show. And hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Let us take a moment now to recognize our Jordan player of the game. His performance was absolutely phenomenal tonight. Not only did he rack up a double-double, he inspired everyone around him to come up with plays for the win. There were a lot of things he did well tonight, but nothing topped what he was able to do on that glass. He exploded for 18 rebounds. This was all about sweat, strength, and energy. He battled hard for position on every single shot attempt and was always ready to pounce when the ball came near him. The job he did down low was fantastic. That's right, fantastic. He had great understanding of the way the defense was set up in the paint. He had a ton of high percentage looks close to the bucket and converted every time. Nice game, real nice game. And that's it for tonight. But we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. For Shaquille O'Neal, for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again very soon. And that's going to do it. Whoops. That's going to do it for this game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's take a look through the box score a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, that's my bad. I will fix that problem. Uh, that will never happen again. I didn't even realize there was two of him. Well, that's great. That's just great. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lakers put up a fight early, couldn't hold on to it. Cleveland wins it, 19 point de uh, difference. And we'll move on to the second game, which will feature Seattle at. I forget who. Let's find out. Seattle at Dallas. There you go. Okay, and before we actually, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for joining us. I'm so thrilled to bring this to you. Uh, Cavaliers win, Lakers lose. On to Seattle. Thank you once again for joining us. And remember, if, like this, subscribe, and follow us on Twitch at Nick underscore Thanks for joining us once again, ladies and gentlemen.